My name is Mary Dom, and today we're going to be painting an image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Everybody will have the paint set, water, a paper towel, your canvas, and um, the brush that comes with the paint set, and your palette where you can mix up your different colors. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take each section of the painting and put in the background color. So um, whatever color we see that's predominant or mostly in that area, that's what we're going to do. And we're gonna use like a watered down color so that it's lighter. And then later we're gonna put the um, detail in and that will be darker. So I'm looking at the image of Our Lady and around the outside of her image, I see mostly yellow. So that's what I'm gonna use. Wet your paintbrush, get it nice and wet, put the, some color on your palette. I'm trying to get quite a bit here because there's it's quite a, a larger area. Okay, so when we watered it down, we see what color we have. Now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna use it sideways like this. You can see that. Okay, and we're gonna come down and just quickly, and it doesn't have to be perfect at all, but just to get a lot of the area colored, we're just gonna go through and just paint using the side of the brush. I need more paint, so I'm just gonna mix up some more. And I'm going kind of quick. You can take your time. But as you see, it's not perfect. I just want some color on there so I know where my areas are in the painting. water so it's a little bit lighter And I find it easier to work from the outside in. It's really up to you what's easier for you. Then we're gonna go into this other area around Our Lady. And that also has a lot of yellow, but I'm gonna put a little bit of orange in there too, just to make it uh, stand out a little differently. And everybody's painting will come out different. Everybody's colors will be somewhat different. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, rinse my brush off pretty good and I'll use a paper towel to get some of the color off because I see I've kind of gone over into this area and maybe I don't want that. So with the clean brush, I'll just kind of erase the color and kind of take it out of there. Watercolors are pretty easy to um, m manipulate in and to kind of clean up and like there, I kind of did it again. And you can use it, even use your paper towel to blot it if um, to get it out of the area. You don't want the color in to take away color. Okay, and as you notice, I'm, I'm using really like colors. This will make it easier to add detail later if it's not too dark. 
and we'll be adding darker colors too. Okay, now we'll go into the blue, and I thought this blue was like a really nice blue. And I'll put that over in a separate, because if we mix the yellow with the blue, we'll get green, and we don't want that. So again, we're going down into her mantle or her cloak. Even if you wanted to go a little bit darker, that's fine. I usually go pretty light when I paint myself. So we look at the picture, we see where the blue is in the picture, and we paint it into the outline that we have. And at this point, some of the um, some of you who are older, if you want to just keep painting, you kind of have an idea of what we're doing here. Alrighty, I'm gonna rinse off my brush, and I'll dab it on the paper towel to get any excess color off of it. Now I'm gonna go with her hair, which is brown, and that. Even that, if you wanted to make it a little bit darker, that's fine because it's pretty solid dark brown in the picture. And your canvas is pretty wet on the side, so just um, be careful of that. And at this point, we're not using the side of the brush, we're using more of the tip because we're in a smaller area. And if you want, you can just work right out of the paint set itself for this because we're not watering it as much. Okay, now her dress is kind of the same color, uh, the yellowish. So we can maybe go back into that making sure that our paintbrush is pretty dry, or, um, well, doesn't have the blue color on it. I'll just kind of go through and do... Oops, that was blue. So, what do we do? We're going to take our paintbrush, we're going to try and get some of the color off, we can pat it with the paper towel, and then we'll go back with the blue on that later. So we'll continue doing this for the whole painting. in the colors that we feel are in the image. That area was blue. That area is blue. This is blue. This was blue. And the inside of that was blue. Okay, we'll continue putting our colors in. You see there's like a little bit of blue down here that we need. Out. 
darker so I can see that it was blue. I think I got all the blue areas in pretty good. Okay. Now, seeing one side of her dress is darker than the other side, so we'll take a little of uh, that seems almost brown. So we'll kind of water down the brown a little bit. And put that, put that on this side so we can see it's different. So some of it you're gonna really have to look at the image because I didn't put in all of the the lines. I didn't put in all the detail, but I did put in a lot. This side seemed to be more brown too. And even now we can start adding a little bit of um, kind of the detail, but it's still pretty light. Okay. Using our black. These horns are black. You're using the tip of your brush. I'm going to dab this one quite a bit till I don't see any color anymore coming off. And I'm going to take away some of this where I went over the lines, some of the black. Maybe I'll use my paper towel to dab. Okay, and like I said, the image is imperfect itself and it won't be perfect as you're painting it. So, um, around these areas edging her cloak, it appears to be a more um, kind of a gold color. So we'll take some Yellow, and we'll take some orange and see what that gives us here. Maybe put in more yellow than orange. And we'll start painting these. And these we can start doing darker. Okay, so we're painting all these areas edging her cloak we're, we're gonna go darker because there's really no shading on these it's just a solid color now we're starting to see what the image is looking like Now I'm going to pause the video while we're um, finishing up all this, all this detail work. All right, we're going to finish putting color in these areas.
some of this extra color out of my paintbrush and making this darker. This is a little angel under here. His hair is kind of black. And the rest of them is kind of there's orange in there. And we'll finish just putting in the rest of our color. And the image kind of had a little more gold going along there. All right. So the only thing that I haven't done is her face, which she is um, Mexican. She is indigenous to Mexico, meaning she's like a Mexican Indian. And uh, so her skin tones are a little bit darker. And we want to make sure we do that. Okay, so that's basically our image um, with just some background color on it. And now we can start putting in the detail. Okay, this is the second image I've made just for um, the purposes of the video. So I'm going to go through. I had put extra color in her mantle. So we're going to do it darker. And I'm still kind of using the edge of my brush, but it's pushing, I'm pushing some of the color to the edge where the lines are. And then you're getting this darker line. So, and I'm just kind of working right out of the, the paint, um, the paint uh, palette here that we have. Okay, so now it's going to be up to you to decide how dark you want your painting to be and how dark you think the image should be. And I'm going to show you a few tricks. If This area I'm leaving lighter. This I'm making a darker ridge. And that gives the impression of the folds in her cloak. See that? See how that looks? And you can go back and even do it darker. Put an even darker paint. Maybe let it dry in between so it's not as wet. And that'll make it, um, it easier to go darker. And anything we don't like that we feel is... Um, going over the edge beyond into this. We clean off our brush and it can go right in the dirty water because it'll clean off. And then we just pat it on our towel to make sure that there's no color on the brush. And then just kind of take your clean brush and wipe it against where you don't like the color that bled over. Maybe use your towel if you need to. And that's how that works. So there's, there is a lot of detail in this. So this is where you're really going to be probably working on your own to figure out how you want your image to look. Do you want how much detail you're going to put in yourself? 
And like I said at the beginning of the video, everybody's will look different in the end. And that's, that's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to add more brown on this side because it, it is darker on this side of her of her clothing, of her dress. And we can kind of move the paint around with our brush to get detail. Or you can just take the tip of your brush like I'm doing now and you're just going right into the paint that's got some that's damp but it's not too wet there's not too much water in there and that will give you darker colors when the paint isn't as wet and then you can draw in the details if you want with your brush and I think I'm going to do her hair a little bit darker right now I'm just working with the browns that um, that's how I like to do, go. I like to kind of um, just use one color at a time. Sometimes that makes it easier, but if you just want to go, you can also um, go section by section if you want. It's really up to you and how, what makes you comfortable or what you think looks right, really. I'm just going to keep recording as I'm painting, so I'm probably not going to be talking too much at this point. I'm adding some color, though, making this a little bit darker, the ridges. And see, I bled over right here, so I'm just going to take my towel. There we go. And then I'll just go back and patch up what I took out. Now to this, originally I had orange and yellow in this and I actually accidentally put in a little bit of brown and um, it made a nice color. It looks pretty close to what she's got on the picture. So sometimes we just make mistakes, but they turn out pretty good, huh? And now we can see the image really coming to life. Notice that like there's there's um it's darker on the bottom of her sleeve than on the top of her sleeve. I don't know if you can see that, but everybody does have an image or should be able to see an image, and they can use that as their guide. And then it's up to you how much detail you want to put in. I'm going to add some of this gold color on this side too. Make it a little bit darker. And that's really what we want to do too is mix different colors in. Now I'm instead of just having brown, I'm using that gold color that I had mixed up. And that's showing up really nice on the painting. Okay, I'm going to show you a few other things. On the outside of the image, you see some other colors in there. And to me, that looks like some blue. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush and just kind of come down 
uh, kind of gently. And that's going to give the impression of uh, like it's an old tapestry like it is. And if your brush is kind of dry when you're doing this, you'll see the lines. It gives a, a different look than when your brush is soaking wet. So I'll just put a little bit of water on there. And maybe just put, like I said, some extra color on the side here. And do it on both sides if you want. And then I'm just going to show you um, this next area, the, out, the outer image before her body, right along um, where her body meets this portion. So let's see what we can do there. I think we're going to take some brown because we see all these lines radiating from her body. And I'm not being exact because we're just, a lot of painting is impression. So we'll have some lines coming out just like it is. And people will see this and know what the image is. The lines are kind of straight, but going diagonal towards her body. And your image is probably still a little wet, so just be careful, but it's all good. And then along the edges of this, it's we'll put some brown detail too. And if you wanna mix that brown with another color, like the red maybe, that makes a nice color too. And you might feel that that's closer to what the color is in the image. But really, it's up to you. And I'm getting paint on me. So do be careful because you do have probably some wet areas. So... But I'm, for um, the purposes of the video, I'm just kind of doing different areas so you can see how they can be done if you're looking for ideas, if you're not really sure how to do that. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on her cloak, her mantle, the blue. And let's see what we can do there. Some areas, as you can see, are lighter in the image and some are darker, and it's nice to have that shading. So, I think this was like lighter. Looks like maybe I still had some color from the brown, so I'm gonna clean up my brush good. Maybe pat that out a little bit if I don't like it. Okay, that's coming up darker. So now I'm looking, where is her elbow? Where am I seeing heavier lines, creases? Take a little water and adding more detail to the image as much as I feel like I want. And this was still pretty light in here, but I'm just adding some more color because I felt like it was a little too light but this was darker in here. And some of this was darker. If you even want to take some of the darker paint, and notice I'm really not wetting down the brush too much. There, This is still damp in here. And go along the lines. That's a nice look, too, if you feel like you want to do that. 
even up in her hood. There's some shading and shadows in different creases. And even here, Do that darker and then maybe move like a darker line there. So, as you're going through the image, you're going to decide how much detail you want. And how you feel it should look because it's your painting and how dark you think you want the colors to be It's like darker along the edge here, so I think I want to add a little more darker color. And it might be easier to go to the other side and let this dry a bit. That might help too when painting um, the darker color. It might be too damp in there. So I want to make her cloak a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is mix blue and a little bit of black or whatever that dark color is. It looks like it's black. And get a, a nice darker color and start putting it in. And I'm going to leave lighter spaces in between, like right there. And that gives the um, illusion of shading. Some back here. And then this side. It's coming out darker, so I'm going to add some darker color to some areas so it kind of matches.
and as you're doing this, you're going to be experimenting with your own colors and, and mixing up your own colors, see what you think looks good in the picture. We're always kind of looking at our picture here and using that as a reference for colors and shading. And everybody's just going to look different and that's good. Some people might have more light and dark. Some people might have nice, solid colors. Okay. I'm going to put a little along the line that's already on there. There we go. Maybe follow the line that was already drawn onto your canvas. All right. Now we're going to look at this area down here. And I'm going to go into this other color that we already had. Maybe you have a little bit of the brown that's here. And you can see a little bit of brown at the bottom of her um, dress here. And that's a little shadow. And then go up along the lines. Maybe even take directly out of our little palette here. Here it's darker. And we're just using the tip of our brush. And there's like a long hair on the tip of your brush that you can drag along and that'll give you tiny um, lines. So there's all kinds of different shading that's coming down. Some lighter areas, some darker areas. And then up here a little bit. I'm just kind of using the brush this way to just get a little bit of color in there. Okay, now we notice these uh, little designs. They look like flowers in her dress, and we're not gonna paint them all, but it's kind of nice to put a few of them in just for the illusion that people will see that there's um, different decorations on her dress. So you just, this is where you take that, um, the very tip of this brush and just very lightly make your designs and you're just just giving the illusion you're just putting a few of them in they don't have to be 100 percent correct but uh, if you can get like the um shape now we see that there's different things on this dress maybe a little bit even in her sleeves 
just using the very tip of the brush, even up in here. Just making little kind of squiggles like the pattern. However, however you can do it. Okay. So earlier um, I had put in some more black in the belt around her waist and in the horns. And I'm gonna wipe off my brush, kind of dry it up a little bit and get some black on here on my brush and maybe trace these a little bit. Trying to make them a little bit darker. And I'm not doing like a solid, I'm not solidly painting them, but just putting in a little bit of a darker accent here and there. Because in this, in this side, it looks like it's kind of scribbled in some black. So that's what I'm gonna do. definition. Alrighty. I'm going to really clean off my brush. And I'm going to go into um, some yellow. Because in her mantle or her robe, there's stars. Gold stars. So let's see what we can do here. Some yellow on our brush, and I'm just again giving the illusion of stars, just little dots, and kind of put them all over randomly, and we can do that on both sides. So we kind of want the paint to be thicker so that it shows up. And really we're only seeing the stars up here and on her hood. Okay. And at this point, you're just going to go back into your painting and put in any details you want to and try to make colors darker if possible. So... I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to make some more gold color for around her, the edging around her mantle. And I kind of um, rinse off, like I went into the orange and now I'm rinsing off and going into the yellow so the yellow doesn't get too messy. Okay, that looks like a really nice kind of strong color. And then I'm just going to trace again along the edges. And in this picture, it almost looks brown. It, it isn't quite as gold. But if, if you want to do that, you can take some brown and put it in the color. Make it a little, a little more brown, like the picture. So now I'm going over the picture again, and I'm putting in darker, stronger colors, so things kind of pop a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm um, adding more color. I put more lines along the edge. I'm tracing along the edge of where the rays are coming from her body. And I decided to make, take some green and some blue, more blue than green. If I 
and get that gone. And put that in her mantle too, because sometimes it, it almost looks blue-green too. And when you put different colors in to your painting, it gives it really nice effects. It gives it different shadows and uh, it just makes it pretty interesting, I think. So this is really up to you what colors you want to use. And I'm trying to make it darker where the lines are already on the canvas. with these darker colors. And if I have to go back and do more of the yellow dots for the stars, I can do that. So that's pretty interesting. And you can go back, maybe take some darker blue even. Let's see how dark we can get this. If you feel like that was too green, put more blue back in. And we're looking at, at the different folds as we're doing this. Like there's an, a fold or an edge right there. all the color off. And I'll tap my tap my brush on the um, napkin here so that I can make sure that most of the color is off. And I think I'm going to do some more in here. I think I want this like a little bit darker. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit of water. I don't want that too wet. And it's darker towards certain areas, towards the bottom. I'm just, I'm kind of using the edge of my brush on this too. You don't have to make it solid. You can just put in, a, there you go, and, and mix it in with this other color. You can leave spaces of lighter and darker. And down here, this is all dress above his head. So I'm kind of just painting straight up and down. Don't be afraid to mix your colors or to go into the other color with a different color 
See how that blends nice? And now we're making her a little bit darker. And I like to start out really light with my colors on my canvas because it's easier to fix if um, if I don't like the colors or to add to the colors. Sometimes if you go too dark, it makes it a little more difficult. And see, it now that one, the blue had bled over into this, but I, I just went and kind of bumped up against it with my brush. And it's making the lines a little more distinct and you can see them. Alrighty. Now we're at the end of our painting. And if you feel like you want some more details, but maybe you're having a hard time with the brush and the paints, you can use some colored pencils. So I'm going to do a little detail with colored pencils, and then it's up to you what you want to do. You could use just black if you want to outline things, or we can use different colors for the different color areas. So I'm going to take some brown and go along where the rays are. Maybe fill in, make things a little bit darker. And we can maybe even put some more detail in the lines. It's really um, what you want to do with this painting and what you think looks good. I'll take a little of um, some blue. Maybe outline her. That blue is a little different from what I've used. I can use yellow. And you could even actually go over your watercolor paints if you wanted. There really is no right or wrong, and I'm just going to tell you, be creative. Maybe do a little bit of yellow. So I'm not really coloring too much of the picture. I'm just outlining myself. I, in between here, it's black in the picture. And that can make things pop a little bit more. So at this point, you're just going to be creative on your own. And the, co the colored pencils might be nice too for the details in the face. And down here in the face of this little guy, the angel that's holding up or really he's underneath the Blessed Mother and he's grabbing this portion of her mantle and holding her up on this side. We could even outline these and I've been calling them horns. Really they're, um, it's a crescent moon that goes behind her. Even if I wanted to do some black on the edges. So you can do black or blue. I don't really care how that blue turned out. So maybe I'll just go over in black. And now she's really starting to stand out. So as much detail or as little as you want can go into this. 
And these colored pencils actually are nice too to do the little squiggles and the design in her dress. And there's some, not in this sleeve, in this portion of her sleeve. There's little flowers, decorations, designs. And even on this side, we're just giving the impression Even if I wanted to go like that. And that's your painting. And now it's up to you to finish.